Hi guys, it's Graham. This is a quick little introduction video just to go through some of the basic points of how I installed linear rails into my Predator. You can see this is uh, the existing installation and swinging the camera around here, you can get a good shot of how the assembly is inserted into the existing Predator vertical rails themselves all the rest is removed so i'll now go through and show you in detail just what those components look like okay the first main part is the u-channel itself and that is 40 millimeters wide on the outside 20 millimeters high from the bottom to the top and the wall thickness all the way around is three millimeters i've machined using my CNC router slots from the bottom here where there is a M3 nut put into it. And uh, the way I've done it is allows a, a little bit of movement for the M3 nut to move up and down for adjustment purposes. On the sides, I put slotted holes all the way through. That allows for any movement and, and adjustments that might be required. Now. I'm uh, fortunate to have a CNC router to be able to do it this particular way. If uh, you don't have that, it's uh, not a, uh, a big problem if you take the dimensions and there is a diagram attached to this uh, file that can be downloaded uh, with all the dimensions. You could just put round holes in the sides. I would probably suggest a round uh, 3.5 millimeters and you could drill and tap the uh, aluminium M3 straight down the center with the correct spacing so you could in fact make these um, that would be workable just using standard machine tools like uh, even just a hand drill and um, an M3 tap but you'll just have to be a lot more accurate with your measurements and, and uh, with your uh, drilling of those holes. So that's the aluminium channel. I chose uh, with um, my installation to do it as one complete length of channel, um, which you would have seen from the start video. It, uh, it's not really necessary to do that. Uh, in this second version that I've made up, which I'm not in fact going to uh, probably use immediately, I've uh, done it in three sections where this is 100 millimetres in length. And um, I believe it's only necessary to use three sections of this where it's one at the bottom. If I try and hold this up here, it's uh, one at the bottom one in the middle, but one at the top. If you wanted to, you could do four, you could do one, two, three, four. It's really up to you, but um, I think there's enough uh, strength in uh, just using three sections. And what happens with this assembly is that it just slides into the existing extrusion and then there are T-nuts and uh, little spaces used to uh, secure these into the uh, Predator's existing uh, aluminium extrusions. And the, the nuts are screwed up on the inside here. It's a very simple installation. I've uh, taken a lot of still photos and um, all those photos available on my website along with all the dimension drawings of these parts. But to go with that, or just before I finish with this, just to make it look a bit nicer, what um, you can do if you want, and I've done this as, as an example, is to take one of these and uh, spray the inside of it black. Now, I particularly wanted the rail sitting on bare aluminium, so I used uh, a piece of uh, just normal sticky tape to mask off the center which is the exact width of the rail itself, and uh, then spray it. You don't have to spray the sides or the back because 
You're not going to see it anymore. For the original installation that I have on my Predator as it is at the moment, I CNC machined all the other parts that are required out of aluminium. Now, I realise that that's not uh, going to be possible for a lot of people. So what I've done is I've taken those CAD CAM files and I've 3D modelled that file and exported it as an STL so that um, you can print the other components up yourself. Um, for this part here, it has um, M4 nuts. These, are just, these blue ones are just examples um, that I've printed up just to test the files will actually work. That uh, mounts onto the bearing block itself. I've got spacer for the stepper motor up the top. I've then got spacers for the sections at the bottom, which is the uh, belt idle wheel. And uh, they are of the correct thickness so that everything matches up. There is also included within the package of files that you can download from my website, uh, this part, which you can print out, which is uh, best to have maybe two of these. And this allows you to align the um, linear rail centrally within the U-channel when you're screwing it down. So once the installation is done, you can just throw these out, but this, you put one at that end, and if you print another one, you'll have at that end, and then you'll secure the, uh, the screws down so that you know when you are going to take this rail and slide it into the existing Predator U-channel that these are going to be central. Um, there is an additional couple of um, little spaces required at the end because I found that the U-channel that I got, which was a little measured a, a fraction under uh, 40 millimetres wide. The Predator measured at a little more than 40 millimetres wide gap. So there was a little bit of uh, side play in this. So I've also included an STL file for some little spaces that can be used. These will print out at about 0.8 millimetres uh, thickness. Depending on the U-channel you get, you might have to adjust that, or you might choose to use just some standard washers, but you, it's a good idea to use something to centralise it. It just depends on the specification and how accurate the U-channel extrusion is that you get. Um, it might be a little under, but hopefully it's, it's not oversized and it'll all fit in nicely. So that you will just have to adapt yourself, but all the rest of it um, works, uh, works fine. I'm also including um, in the description all the screws you'll need because most of the screws you'll have to replace from the existing ones. Um, and uh, what else was there? Yes, there are team nuts. Now, unfortunately, I can't provide a lot of links for directly purchasing all these screws and nuts and, every, and even the U-channel online because I just buy this from a local supplier. So, as I said, I'm providing um, full dimension drawings of everything, even the spaces. Um, I'm also providing drawings um, or the STL files for all the printed parts, a whole set of photographs of this particular assembly. And um, obviously, if you've got any questions, you can contact me. I'm actually posting this on my own website and you can individually download the files and I'll uh, probably update it as as needed but um, I just hope you can have as much success as I did with uh, your installation